we want to find the products and write the answers as simplified fractions or mixed numbers. In general, to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. But typically, we do want to simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators before multiplying rather than after. So looking at our first example, we have seven-ninths times one-fifth. Notice in this case, there are no common factors between the numerators and denominators, and therefore we multiply. Seven times one is seven, nine times five equals 45. So seven-ninths times one-fifth is seven-forty-fifths. Next we have five times two-thirds. We want to begin by writing five as a fraction. So five is equivalent to five over one, or five divided by one. And then we have times two-thirds. Again, notice how there are no common factors between the numerators and denominators. So we multiply. Five times two is 10. One times three is three. But here we do have an improper fraction. It is simplified, but it is improper. Let's convert it to a mixed number. A fraction bar means division, so this is equivalent to 10 divided by three. Notice there are three threes in 10. Three times three is nine. Subtract the remainder of one, which means 10 thirds is equal to three and one third. The fraction is a remainder over the divisor. Now we have the product of two mixed numbers we're going to begin by writing these as improper fractions. So the first fraction will have a denominator of three. The second fraction will have a denominator of 12. The numerator of the first fraction will be three times four plus two, that's 14. And the second fraction will have a numerator of 12 times three plus seven, which would be 36 plus seven, or 43. Now before we multiply though, notice how there is a common factor of two between the 12 and the 14. So let's simplify before multiplying. There are six twos in 12 and seven twos in 14. There are no other common factors between the numerators and denominators, so now we multiply. Seven times 43 is equal to 301, and three times six equals 18. Again, we have an improper fraction, so let's convert this to a mixed number. So we have 301, divided by 18. There's one 18 and 30. We subtract, that would be 12, bring down the one. Now we want to determine how many 18s are on 121. Not an easy question, I think that's gonna be six. Let's try, six times eight is 48. Bring the four over to the tens. Six times one plus four is 10. Subtract. Notice here 13 is less than 18, so the six is correct. 13 is a remainder, which means as a mixed number, we'd have 16 and 13 eighteenths. And now for the last example, we have the product of three fractions. We have one sixth times five eighths times one fourth. Notice there are no common factors between any of the numerators and any of the denominators, so we multiply. The numerator is going to be one times five times one, that's five. The denominator is going to be six times eight times four. Well, six times eight is equal to 48, and 48 times four equals 192. So our product is five over 192. I hope you found this helpful.